Just yesterday, Barack Obama was re-elected to a second term as president, but that doesn't mean it's too early to start looking ahead at potential GOP candidates for 2016. Some experts say a front runner has already emerged in the form of this shrieking white hot sphere of pure rage. The sphere seen here decimating homes in a small Maryland town is testing through the roof with conservatives who were disappointed with Obama's victory last night. Jason Copeland, why is yeah. this thing so popular? Well, Andrea, look, this screaming orb just might be the only one who really taps into the deep-seated seething fury felt by so many Republicans right now. That's true. This thing is young, it's exciting, it right. feeds off fear and terror. It's no wonder conservatives are raving about it. Mitt Romney just didn't get me fired up enough to vote. Uh, but that sphere of anger really speaks to me, usually through my television or in my nightmares. It's got me building this hive. Now, we know the thing is popular, but does this rage sphere actually want to run for president? Well, Andrea, it hasn't said no. I mean, when interviewed, the howling conservative plasma orb reportedly said, quote, a loud whirring sound, some unintelligible shrieks, bow before me, more piercing violent shrieks, guns, not our America. And then uh, it just repeated faggots at a deafening pitch for hours and hours. Okay, but, but that sounds pretty noncommittal, well, Jason. Well, that's right. I mean, look, you know, if Republicans want this thing to run, they're going to have to find some way to trap it, communicate with it. Absolutely. Steer it in the right direction. Some conservative leaders have uh, already begun offering sacrifices of virgins and livestock, okay. which is a good first step, obviously. And Jason, so, now, I mean, um, we are getting some yeah. breaking news right now that the sphere is making further political inroads. Apparently, Senator Richard Burr of North Carolina has just an hour ago resigned his wow. seat in the Senate to the beast. Uh, in an official statement that we have here, Burr said, quote, it will do better than I ever could. Nowhere to run. Lead me to my end. I am worthless. It owns us. That, wow, that's a quote, big, Jason. big development there. Yeah, so grows the orb. Now, Jason, is it too soon to speculate as to who the sphere might pick as its running mate? Well, I, I can't see the sphere picking anyone other than the dark, ominous cloud of racism that the Republicans love so much. Oh, right. I mean, it's been around for years. It has experience. And if the party gets serious about its ground game in Iowa and the maelstrom's able to maintain cohesion without exploding and exterminating life on this planet, yeah. I think we can expect the announcement of a white hot sphere horrible lurking fog ticket as early as Christmas 2015. Thank you, Jason. Later in the hour, Thanks, we'll take an in-depth look at some early frontrunners for the Democrats, including Joe Biden, Martin O'Malley, and the magical arc of empty promises.